All right, chapters 20 and 21 and the second section of this book, um, which was the tree folk. So um, it ended with Kira kind of rushing through bravely and standing up against the takers and saving Luan, um, describing how she had to do that and kind of facing her fears of her old life, um, bringing back memories of how she had to save her brother and um, definitely fearful that they were going to follow her the way they followed her back to the volcano and eventually went in and... Um, killed her entire village so um as they got to the river just by luck um as she was planning to get Luan first um it started raining and so they talked about the rainy season which is something that lasts for months and meaning it rains most of the time so um lots of flooding the river rising um unable to be crossed during this time of the year and so that magically happened as she was able to get to Luan. So um, the takers were not really prepared for the rain to start, which was why they were scrambling around trying to get all their stuff together. And she could get in and get Luan, and they ran. Um, of course, they were chased, and I guess the takers figured they would be able to get them pretty quickly. Their plan was to kill Luan, so their plan would have been to kill both of them. And um, they made it to their little raft launch and um, went across the river on a rope. So think about being on like a tight rope, um, hanging from it, trying to climb across the river. Um, that was a pretty neat detail um, of the story of how they were able to get across. So honestly, the first thing I thought of once they crossed was why didn't she take her um, rope cutting tool that she had and try to cut the rope with the takers on it because one was hanging from the rope chasing them and the rest were on the raft um, trying to pull across the river. Um, and then the leader stayed on the shore to um, see what was going on and he was firing arrows at them all. Um, throughout all of this too and of course it's pouring down torrential rain as they're doing this um so they were planning on just running and she ended up falling and getting hurt and just as they were trying to think of what their next move was going to be um loba showed up and came and sliced the rope and all of those takers went into the river presumably um dead because trying to fight against that kind of current and with all that extra rainwater um, would have been pretty hard to do especially when you think about they were describing things like giant logs floating um, quickly through the river so they probably would have been um, meeting up with something like that as well and most likely would have drowned in the river at some point um, so the one that stayed back on shore um, screamed a threat to them that they would be back and um they were able to get back into the tree and back to safety where they discussed now in chapter 21 um that they were gonna have to come up with a plan so immediately Kira wanted to run um but the rest of the family was not at all for that um so in order to come up with a better plan, Kira realized that she was going to have to um, she was going to have to tell them exactly what was going on um, before she joined their family. So she uh, wasn't completely honest with them. She didn't tell them her role in going out. She didn't really describe um, what her life was like and I think that if she had done that Loba probably would have been on her side a little bit more um, if she would have explained that her entire um, town her entire community were not violent people that they didn't even believe in weapons or know what weapons were um, they didn't fight they didn't do anything like that so um, a group like the takers coming in just went right after them and they had no defense at all um 
we know that the tree folk do use weapons. They do go out and hunt. They protect themselves if they need to, so they're not against any type of um, fighting or violence. But um, definitely um, she still didn't feel comfortable with telling them everything. She still feels like she's to blame for all of it instead of putting the blame where it really belongs, which is on these horrible people who come in and destroy whatever they want. Um, so they finally were able to convince Loba of a plan, um, which Luan seems very proud of, and that is creating an entire... Um, area of giants in the trees so taking his friend's plan for the giants and making them everywhere in the forest yeah. um and this was the end of the section as i said the next um section part three is called the forest giants and so we kind of are um able to infer what the next last part of this uh, novel is going to be about so um, I'm excited to see how they actually go about building these giants and um, coming together and that's going to be the hardest part is that um, Kira now has taken on the job of getting the tree folk together in one place telling her story and trying to convince them that they have to work together which is not something they do their community does not come together they don't work together they only work for their individual families and they don't try to go out and help others that's not the way they do things and so she's going to have to convince them to change their entire way of life in order to save their community and so I can't wait to read about how she does that and what they do to protect themselves.